This is a learning and exam preparation video for the IB business syllabus. At the end of the video are practice assignments for you to prepare you from the exams. Please click www.intmace.com on the link at the bottom of this video to do the assignments for this topic. Unit 2.2 Organizational Structure Organizational Structure formally represents the roles and responsibilities of a business as well as the position entitled of individuals. Organizational chart is a diagram that outlines the formal roles, responsibilities, and reporting lines in the business. Few terms that help to describe organizational structure in an organizational chart. 1. Levels of Hierarchy refers to how many levels of responsibilities are in the business. For example, line managers, the people who have the authority to make decisions and who bear responsibility for every decision outcomes. Staff manager, secretarial or administrative staff, is someone with an authority to communicate decision made by CEO without having responsibility for that decision. 2. Chain of command. The formal route by which a decision must travel through the organization. 3. Span of control. Refers to how many subordinates are directly under the authority of a manager and whom managers are responsible for. Relevant terms of how an organization is structured though not significant to an organizational chart. 1. Delegation. This occurs when a manager gives authority for a particular decision but not his responsibility for the outcome of the decision. 2. Centralization. Occurs when all major decision making is maintained within a small group of managers operating close to the head business. In result, key managers can keep more effective control of their subordinates. 3. Decentralization. This is where senior managers maintain core strategic decisions, but other decision-making authority is delegated to middle managers. In result, key managers allow greater freedom to their subordinates. 4. Bureaucracy. This indicates a relative importance of rules and procedures, and said ways of doing things where personal initiatives, flexible thinking and delegation are not important. 5. Delaring. This occurs when a business reduces the levels of hierarchy by removing layers of management in order to reduce bureaucracy and increase the decision-making capabilities of middle managers and reduce employment cost. Types of organizational chart. 1. Tall organizational structure is a traditional organizational form of a business that is common in well-established businesses where it has many levels of hierarchy, narrow span of control, centralized decision-making, long chains of command, autocratic leadership and limited delegation. 2. Flat organizational structure is a modification of the more traditional structure where it has fewer levels of hierarchy, wider spans of control decentralized decision-making, shorter, though more diffuse, chains, democratic leadership and increased delegation. 3. Organizational structure by hierarchy. This is where individuals at the top management have more authority than those below them. 4. Organizational structure by function. This is presented by function where it indicates employees' responsibilities which are grouped by departments. 5. Organizational structure by product. This is presented by what the business produces. This is commonly used by publishing companies. 6. Organizational structure by region. This is presented according to where the business operations are. This is commonly used by multinational corporations. Changes in an organizational structure. 1. Project-based organization, matrix structure. 
is designed to be more flexible and responsive to market demands where a business human resources are organized around the many projects and appoint project managers who run teams of employees focusing on individual projects such as accountants, operations managers and marketing specialists with the goal of completing each team's project. 2. Shamrock Organizations is based on a model suggested by the Irish management theorist Charles Handy. The model suggests that business can reduce costs, gain competitive advantage and increase response time by trimming their workforce to retain only a multi-skid core, which is concerned with the creation or delivery of a product or service. Communication it is an important element of the organizational structure that integrates to how the business functions. Common forms of communication 1. Verbal A form of communication that relies on the spoken word. Formal verbal communication occurs during interviews, meetings, lectures, presentations and recorded telephone interviews. Two. Informal verbal communication occurs during face-to-face -face communication, gossiping and unrecorded telephone conversation. 3. Visual This form of communication relies on sight. Formal visual communications are from presentations, videos, notice boards, signs, sign language, symbols and maps. 4. Informal visual communication occurs during body language and gestures. 5. Written. This form of communication relies on written words. Formal written communications are from reports, letter, notices, bulletins, forms and press releases. 6. Informal written communication occurs during memos, emails, texts, and blogs. Practice assignments, exam prep assignments for the IB Business Studies syllabus. You may now proceed to try out the exam preparation assignments. All assignments will be marked and feedback will be given. Should you need to speak to one of our tutors send your email to administration at intmace.com. Please proceed to the link www.intmace.com at the bottom of this video to commence with your practice.